Hello everyone and welcome to the Library Catalog demonstration for Keyboard Searching 2. In this video, we are going to make a new search phrase for the Library Catalog that includes a new tool called Phrase Searching. First, we have to list our keywords. These are the important words that we are going to use in order to find sources relevant to us. Mine are non-native speakers and writing. We are then going to put this into a search phrase. A search phrase is just a fancy word for what we're going to put in the search box. The directions tell us that we have to use one Boolean operator and phrase searching. So this is going to be the new thing we add in, phrase searching. Phrase searching is when you have a keyword that's actually a phrase, meaning it's made up of more than one word. For example, my keyword here, non-native speakers, needs all of that in order to convey the idea I want, but it's not a single word. Phrase searching uses quotation marks so that the database knows I want to search this as a single idea, not individual words. Then I'm going to use AND to add in my other keyword. This is the one that makes the most logical sense because I want only results that talk about both of these keywords. Searching in the library catalog, we're going to be using the same tools we have before. Go to the Books and More tab, put your search phrase in the search box, and then click the search button. Then, because you know you only want books or ebooks, under item type, limit to that type. Something to note here, when you're using the library catalog, the only tools that really work are phrase searching, which are the quotation marks, and and. Other Boolean operators and truncation don't work well in this, so that's why we're not using them. From our results, we're going to pick one that has both of our keywords and looks interesting to us. I am going to use second language writer's text because it definitely talks about what I'm looking for. I would note down the title, author, and publisher. In the subject term field, I'm being asked to record the ones that are identical or similar to my current keywords. Now, when you're looking at these subjects, English language is not a subject by itself. This subject that I'm highlighting is English language dash dash study and teaching dash dash foreign speakers. So sometimes they're pretty long. Of these, I think second language acquisition is the closest to second language. So I would take that one as one of mine. And then for writing, I would probably do college prose, because prose is another word for writing, dash dash evaluation. I hope that this video is helpful for you as you complete the assignment, and I'll see you in the next video.